Welcome to P2. Today we're going to start with the very first unit, algebraic methods, and the first part of that is algebraic fractions. And for this it's all about simplifying an algebraic fraction, which essentially means we need to factorise and then cancel anything that is common. So you have a question, then you want to factorise everything you can, like so, then you want to cancel. So when you cancel, you'll be cancelling those factors that are the same. Now, this works because everything's multiplied, which means you can cancel the whole bracket. That's why factorising is important. And once we've cancelled, we're left with whatever's left over. Now, before we get into a few examples, I've noticed that a lot of people are watching the videos but are not subscribers if you are studying for your a-level maths your international a-level maths please consider hitting that subscribe button it just makes it easier for you to find my channel in the future if you get stuck and you want to look at some other videos um, obviously if you you're finding the videos that you have watched you saw so far but if you do just consider hitting that subscribe button it really helps me out as well Thank you. So we have a question here, 8x to the power 4 plus 4x cubed minus 6x. So I can see straight away on the top that I can take an x outside of everything. And also 2 goes into each of my values here, my coefficients. So I can also take a 2 outside. So that would leave me with 4x cubed plus 2x squared minus 3 and you can see looking in here there's nothing else that is common between these three terms now that it's outside you can quite easily see I can cancel the twos and I can cancel the x's so that now is leaving me with 4x cubed plus 2x squared minus 3 now another way of thinking about it is taking my fraction and separating it out so 8x to the 4 over 2x plus 4x cubed over 2x minus 6x over 2x i can do this because if this was true and they're all on the same bottom it is just the same as adding the top up over this bottom so to, I would go from this to this, so it means I can go from this to this. Now, looking at each one, we can cancel an x, cancel the 2. And that leaves me with 4x cubed. Looking at the second one, 2 goes into this twice. x with this one to leave me squared, so plus 2x squared. Again... 2 goes into this 3 times, x will cancel with this, leaving me minus 3. Same process, same idea, and really the method or how you finally do it is totally up to you. Just one thing to be aware, this kind of second method, this only works when you've got a very much a single term along the bottom. Anything else it wouldn't work with. So looking at this one, we want to start off by factorising. So on the top, I know I'm going to have a 2x and an x. And then on the bottom, we know we're going to end up with an x and an x. So let's look at the top. We've got to have a plus 1. That means it has to be a 1 at the end, because that's the only way to make that 1. And we've got plus 3, so this makes sense now. 2x plus x is 3x. So this one does work where they're both plus. Now, looking at the top can give me an idea of the bottom. Because I'm simplifying, this question must have already been set up so something cancels. Since I don't have a 2x in anything, x plus 1 must be one of these brackets. Let's have a look. So to make the minus 2, we're going to need a 1 times a 2. 
and we want the minus x as a minus and a plus and lo and behold there it is the x plus one so cancel my x plus ones and then this leaves me with 2x plus 1 on the top and x minus 2 on the bottom. You should always be looking for clues like I was talking about here when you're doing these questions yourself. Sometimes the clue is in the question and sometimes as you start to solve the question. Okay? I think it's time for you to have a go at a few yourself. As always, I'll put the answers at the end of the video.